Always a pleasure to have the Lions quarterback with us. Jared, thank you for being with us. And, uh, you know, I can tell you that uh, the win, the bounce back win after the loss to Seattle meant a lot to the fans and people reinvigorated this week. How much did it mean to you guys in the locker room to come back and get that win? Yeah, it's exciting, man. It's a, it's good to get one in front of the home fans. We were disappointed the previous week to not do that for them. And to get another chance at it this past week and get it done uh, was big. I've seen a lot of touchdown celebrations in my time. Um, being a Lions fan, we've seen some of the most benign, like Barry Sanders just handed the ball over to the official. Chris Spielman famously did like this two-handed spike into the end zone. We've seen players do backflips. How would you describe your touchdown celebration from Sunday? Yeah, I, I, I need to have a better plan, I guess. Uh, you know, I think I'm going to start doing a little bit more towards what Barry does, just hand it to the ref and get back to the sideline. I was a little excited there and uh, didn't really come with a plan that uh, played out how I thought it would. You mentioned after the game that that was uh, one of the two worst throws you've ever made because the celebration for those didn't see it. Great play, by the way. Amazing read, read to get in the end zone, and, and, and it was actually was brilliant. But then to throw into the crowd, not so good. You said one of the two worst throws you made. The other one would have been the interception. And then the – do you call it an attempted leap into the stands, or how would you describe that? Yeah, so the ball like kind of slipped out of my hand to start with, which wasn't great. And then, you know, when you're – you know, that was probably my <laughs> – was my first time jumping in the crowd – and I think what I, I didn't realize is when they all have their hands out like that, they kind of block you from jumping. <laughs> and they're kind of holding, you know, there, there's, I feel like I would have got up on the first try if everyone wasn't leaning over the railing. They were so excited, as was I. But the second try, I felt like I kind of crawled up there and gave them some love. It's great. And you were mic'd up. The, re- the reaction it of was, you mic'd up. It was, really, it was really their fault. Okay. You know? Yeah, I got <laughs> Jared Goff blames the fans again. Yeah, now, Let's talk about the touchdown, though, and take us through that play when the play call comes in. You know, is it, it you know, take us through it from your perspective from beginning to end. The My run? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we, we've called that before. Um, it just wasn't the look to pull it. Um, and I'm just reading the end, and he crashed and took around the outside. Yeah, it's, it's pretty, pretty simple stuff. Um, we called it before. It's just the first time where I've been able to actually take it. Yeah. Is Jameer Gibbs pissed that he hasn't scored uh, yet and you have? <laughs> no, I should bring that up, though. I didn't think about that. Yeah, I'll, tell, I'll tell him today I got more rushing touchdowns than him. Yeah. I'm sure he'll be at some point this year. <laughs> you never know. Dual threat. Uh, take us through the uh, the other touchdown to, to Sam Laporta. Uh, that play worked brilliantly. Um, take, from the time the ball was snapped to the time you saw him, what would you see? Yeah, it was one we had kind of lined up for this week and, and knew we'd have a good chance at it. And uh, He ran a great route, uh, got himself wide open, and just laid it out there for him. I had to negotiate uh, the rusher a little bit, but um, pretty pretty simple, you know, just roll out and throw it back across the field. Same play we ran last year against Green Bay uh, in that last game of the season. Uh, despite being a makeshift offensive line, you know, the Falcons did not record a quarterback sack. Can you talk about your faith in the line that no matter who's on it, how that the, the confidence you have in it is has grown? I mean, by the end of the game, you've got the fourth string right tackle protecting you for half the game. Yeah, man, it's it's always hard when, you know, when you get down to the, you know, the last guy like that. But, yeah, I thought they they battled, man. They fought. And, um, you know, I think it's credit to our, our line coach, Hank Bradley, obviously the guys, but – getting those guys ready that, you know, maybe aren't prepared to play in the game and making sure they're ready if their number is called. And um, I thought those guys, you know, did a great job. There's obviously stuff to clean up, but um, they, they battled, man. It was it was fun to watch. Dan Campbell on the morning show talked about Jameer Gibbs just getting, kind of getting a lather up as that game went on and that he thought the last two runs that he had for, I think it was 11 and 21 yards, were both examples of just the growth he showed from beginning to end in that game. Uh, tell us a little bit about your perspective on his development. Yeah, it just continues to keep getting better, I think, both in the run and pass. And that's what's exciting. Is he, I mean, I can go all the way back to April, how much better he's gotten and how much he, he's worked on his stuff. And he is so freaking talented and so so dang good. But um, when a guy continues to get better is an exciting part, especially as a rookie. Um, and, and you see it every day, and he's working hard and getting himself prepared to, to do everything. And, um, yeah, man, it's a, the sky's the limit for that kid, and he, he's doing a hell of a job. I know it's only three games, but it, it sure feels like the offense is a little bit different this year than what we saw last year. And, and I guess from a fan's perspective that 
it looks like you're taking more shots downfield uh, than a good portion of what you did all of last year. Is it accurate to say? And and how do you see the the offense being different this year than what it was last year? Yeah, it, uh, in some ways. Uh, I, I mean, there's just different players, but um, you know, the shot called doesn't always mean shot taken. This year, we've had some shots called, and I've taken them, and they've been open. So, yeah, I, I think that's just a product of you know game plan and, and, and you know what the defenses are doing but no we've we've called shots in the past we just haven't always had the opportunity to throw them but now I feel like we do in some in some of these cases the last few games but um yeah I, I, a little bit you have different players you have different scheme you have you know different ways of doing things so yeah it's it's always going to be ever changing you explained to us in one of our interviews in the past about how you had had, had grown this real trust with Amon Ross St. Brown uh are you already in that same place or close to it with a rookie tight end and Sam Laporta? Yeah, on our way. Uh, you know, I've got a lot more reps with Sam Brown for sure. Um, but trust trust them the same. I think the trust is, yeah, totally the same. But um, definitely on my way with Sam. He's done a great job, you know, every week. Same thing with Gibby. Like, just seeing these guys get better every week and seeing them improve and put the work in and, and, and want it and um both of their football instincts, both those rooks, is pretty high. And uh, when you got a guy like Sam who understands coverage, can get himself open, has great hands, you know, run after the catch, um, it's no surprise what he's been able to do for us. But you know, it's it's fun to see him continue to get better as he is. How common is it where Ben Johnson comes into a meeting or in, into film room, or maybe it's you, and and introduces a new play uh, based on maybe something that they saw over the weekend in another game, other teams playing and. And just shows a new wrinkle. How often does that happen? Uh, yeah, probably every week. Um, probably every week introducing something new. You'd like to be. Um, yeah, and is it is it something he saw, you know, this past weekend? Or is it something he saw five years ago? Or, you know, you never know. But it's always, you know, something new and um, something creative typically every week. All right, let's talk about Green Bay a little bit. When you look at their defense, what do you see? Yeah, they're good. They're good. It's, uh, you know, Joe Barry guy I was with in L.A. who I think is a tremendous coach and gets those guys ready to play. They're, they're, they were really good last year. They've been really good through three games this year. And um, they're athletic. They're long. They're fast. Uh, they, they're sound. They do everything right. Um, it'll be a challenge for us. Is, is last year's game helpful in terms of just film study or is it new season? It doesn't matter as much. Yeah, a, a little bit. But, yeah, we've got three brand new games to watch as well. So, um yeah, that'll help some, but uh, you know a lot of the a lot of the stuff this year is you know different and the same in some ways. So yeah, you learn from this stuff just the same. It's early in the season, but it feels like for an early in the season game, it's a huge game. <laughs> are you are you do you have that energy? Do you guys sense that energy down in the building? Um, yeah, I, I, they're all big. They're all they all count the same, and uh, you know it's a division game, which makes it count maybe a little bit more. Um, and certainly a road division game. Uh, if, if you're able to get one of these, they're they're special. And um, yeah, we we'd love to go in there and get a win. But they all count the same. And Thursday night national stage, man, it'll be fun. But um, treating it just like every other one. From a player's uh, perspective, obviously being a Detroit Lion every year on Thanksgiving, Lions at the Thursday game. You're used to playing on the short week. Do you like playing on the short week, and particularly in addition to the, the to the Thanksgiving game? Now you've got this one this week. Yeah, it, it, you know, there's like a love hate with it. Do I like it? I don't know if I like it, but I do like having the long weekend after the ten day break after. Um, so there's a, there's a little bit of give and take with it. I've had some of my best games on Thursday night, so I, I do enjoy it as a quarterback. I know it's hard for you know a lot of guys and, and myself included to to always get your body turned over by that Thursday. But as long as you do that, um, I, I enjoy the long break after. What has surprised you the most so far this season, and what has simply been confirmed about your team that you knew going in that maybe others outside the building didn't know? Uh, yeah, I think what's been confirmed is is who we know we are and, and, and what we're capable of, and um, you know, winning on the road, winning a tough one at home. Uh, we we know who we are. We know what we can do. I thought our defense really showed up for us this past week, and um, surprise, I don't know, man. I don't. Uh, shoot, I don't know. I wish I had a better answer for you, but uh, yeah, you know, I think a lot's been confirmed about who we who we thought we were and who we thought we think we are and um, what we know we can do this year. You did you did bring up something there that I wanted to follow up on. You mentioned the defense, and obviously you playing quarterback, but you see what's going on on the other side of the ball. Atlanta didn't run it at all against you. Um, you have one of the top rush defenses early in the very early in the season, but against the run so far. 
Uh, guys in the secondary, even though people are banged up, Tracy Walker comes in, if Fatou Melanfamu comes in and makes plays. Uh, what can you say about that side of the football? Yeah, man, they, they kept us in it. Uh, you, you know, typically 20 points doesn't really always get it done in this league, and we've scored 21 and 20 and won both those games. So it's it, they, they kept us in uh, this last one and, and kept giving us the ball back. And um, we were trying to, you know, kind of close it out there with one more touchdown drive and just kind of couldn't get it done until that last one. But uh, they just kept giving us the ball back. I throw the interception, the bad interception, and, and they get, you know, four, four and out on the next, you know, four plays. So stuff like that, man, it's it's, it's special when, it, when a team can do that and, and, and feed off each other and pick each other up. And um, they did that for us this week. Always try to finish up with some fun. I got some rapid fire for you if you're ready. Okay, I'm ready. Do you prefer it called fall or autumn? <laughs> prefer what? Fall or autumn? Oh, fall. I don't, yeah. Thank I don't you. know what I, autumn is. Like old people say autumn. <laughs> I, I, I appreciate it so much. You have no idea. Bratwurst or hot dog? Hot dog. Chicken wings or chicken tenders? Oh, oh, that's a good one. Uh, I'll go wings. Beer or hard seltzer? Beer. And lastly, what is your favorite celebratory tequila? Oh, uh, Casamigos. There you go. There it is. He passes. He passes. Yes. He passes. <laughs> hey, Flying J- colors. Jared Goff, uh, appreciate it as always. Good luck on Thursday, and we will talk again next week. I appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Thanks, Jared. There he is. A quarterback of the Detroit Lions, Jared Goff, our weekly conversation here on 97.1 The Ticket.